What's up guys, my name is Negorad and welcome to more Wolf Among Us. I almost said Dying Light, but no, today is Day of Wolf Among Us. And we are going to... I can't remember if Prince Lawrence or two. Whatever, we're going somewhere. <laughs> Go ahead, Snow. <laughs> Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check out Prince Lawrence out. He's a Toad. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And here's the killer. The frog or the prince. <laughs> and we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. <laughs> Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Uh oh. I didn't press it then. Here. Maybe it was the right thing to do. Shit. Enough, all right, just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. <laughs> yeah, it was like three episodes ago. Probably get that fixed. Yo, fuck this with his head, man. <laughs> that was a quite epic battle. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? That's a paper. Note. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. <laughs> you remember this one, don't you? <laughs> he didn't say anything. Let's be quiet about it. Eh, <laughs> adds charm. There's something else, and there's nothing more in here. All right then. So yeah, <laughs> let's see what's up with two. <laughs> Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Okay, Snow. If you say so. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. <laughs> Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. 
Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stabbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Hmm. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. <laughs> it wasn't I, I saying said, anything. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Do toes drink Oof. tea? Grown-ups, am I right? Oh, uh, little fella. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. What the fuck is a weevil? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just <laughs> like everything else in this bloody building. <laughs> yeah, British though. Ain't that the dream? You don't fool me, though. <laughs> it's for weeks, dude. And the lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just <laughs> fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Yeah. yeah two things plugged in. Alright, the clock in. I need to get a dustpan one of these days. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. All right, then. <laughs> Starting to worry, eh? Bleeding? Why? Is that <laughs> blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Grand Premio d'Italia. Some scratches. Uh, open. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. No, I... there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? 
If you're gonna say something, out with it. Thought you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Here. The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, at that point I should tell about the part I thought he was attacked. What the fuck? More blood? No. <laughs> Clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp. The lamp was here. <laughs> that broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. <sighs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, yeah! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Pigby, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? Maybe, uh, maybe it's... It got away from me a bit. 
Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Higby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dama D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. It's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What did you tell him? If you're worried about your own skin, forget it. I didn't tell him nothing about you or your shit. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. <laughs> Bring the sham the chimney. <laughs> No, I wouldn't wear it outside. The image in the book. Wait. Yeah. The image. And there's a note. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. If my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Out. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. <laughs> I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. He'll be all right. Oh, she's mad about. So the prince is now. Lawrence is. Yeah, it's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. All right then, and that's something for the next episode. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay cool. <laughs>